here we will discuss a very simple but important question from the chapter sequences and series here question is find the sum to n terms here series is given 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus 4 into 5 and so on okay so let us see the solution here first of all you have to understand nth term of the given series so what is nth term here this is first term so 1 and the next term next number 2 similarly this is second term so 2 2 plus 1 this is third term so 3 3 plus 1 this is fourth term so 4 4 plus 1 so clearly here nth term tn will be n into n plus 1 you check you can put any particular value suppose fourth term you have to find then if you put n is equal to 4 then you are getting 4 into 5 correct so this is the general term first of all we have to understand before finding the sum what is nth term then we have to apply sigma over this expression so here sum to n terms is sigma of tn so sigma will be apply over here sigma you can multiply it this is n square plus n n square plus n square plus n so sigma will be applied over n square plus n correct and here sigma will be distributed over both the terms so this is sigma n square plus sigma n in the previous videos we have discussed so many times the formula sigma n square and sigma n i am expecting that you remember these values so sigma n square is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 sum of squares of first n natural number is this much and sigma n sigma n is sum of first n natural numbers so you know sigma n is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 so let us put these values here so sigma n square is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 and here sigma n is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 correct here n into n plus 1 is common in both the terms so n into n plus 1 is common and here remaining part is 2n plus 1 divided by 6 and this is half so let us simplify this expression inside this bracket we'll get the result this is n into n plus 1 here lcm is 6 so 2n plus 1 2 3 ja 6 so plus 3 and this is equal to n into n plus 1 and here 2n plus 4 divided by 6 you can take two common here which will be cancel out with this 6 denominator will be 3 so we'll get the answer and after taking two common here remaining expression will be n plus 2 so we are getting the answer n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by how much 3 because here this common 2 will be cancel out with this 6 so this sum is sum of the series up to n terms is this much this is the answer so solution is very simple just we have to memorize this formula which will be used in different questions here so this is the result hope you have understood it very well thank you very much